Want to skip ads without hurting my inner child? Head over to patreon.com slash cmc and help fund the show. Put down your old original Captain Morgan Spice Drum. Pick yourself up some limited editions. I'm Plural. Because I'm Derek Chauver. That's Ian Andrews. And we've got, my friends, some 1671. Which is their current limited edition. It is. And we also have... What do we have? Oh, we're going to compare it against one of the winners of our... Blind tasting with with just spice, spice rum, rum tasting. We said this Actually, is one of the good great ones. Rum, yeah, we really like the flavor of this. And this was their last limited edition. The last edition. limited edition. This the sherry cask, sherry, oak. sherry cask, sherry oak, sherry finish. oak finish. Spice rum, really good. I can't get it in New Hampshire anymore. I don't know where New Hampshire. If you can there. find it, buy a bottle and save it. Dude, buy it. Don't even open it. Well, yeah. that, I would like to open it and drink it. But buy two. Drink yeah. one and then save the other. Yeah, save the other one for a special occasion because that's good stuff. Yeah, when you get married yeah. or you have your seventh kid or whatever it is that makes special occasions special. Seventh kid. Well, I'm in the first. At that point, it's not special anymore, is it? Uh, First kid, maybe. uh, By the seventh kid, you're drowning. Yeah, by the seventh kid, you're drinking everything you could possibly find. Uh, (laughs) You're not saving liquor at that point. This though is new. Yeah. So this is their new limited edition. If you look for limited edition, you'll find 1671. And 1671, according to the back of the label, is the day that Captain Henry Morgan lost his ship. Where do you put it? Uh, his beloved vessel, the Satisfaction, during the infamous raid on Panama. Like he went out, he came back from the bar one night, was like. Where'd it go? <laughs> or was it like there's probably more to it? Than that's Why is the ship gone? <laughs> Where is the ship? I'm guessing it sunk. Yes. All right, so we're going to taste that. We're going to figure all this Ooh. out. And then Ooh. we'll compare it to the other one. I like the smell of this. Does it smell I like awesome? Like butterscotch. Oh, it smells like butterscotch? So much like butterscotch. I have not, even though it's Have open, you tried it? No, she, she drank it. And I said, oh. don't put that near me. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with this. This is this is an unboxing oh. to me. This is my unboxing. I've never had it. That's, well, why don't you get a whiff of that? I mean, can I whiff it? Yeah, you can whiff it, and you can taste it first too. Do you get the butterscotch Dude, smell out of that? This smells like um, candy. The añejo uh, tequila. Oh, from the Rizul. 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 Yeah. yeah. Doesn't yeah. that smell good? It smells just like it smells really good. Without the agave. Put it in your face. <laughs> don't spit it up. <laughs> I think I made Chris spit up on his iPad. Mm. <laughs> Do you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, clash I like. got bourbon all over my iPad. <laughs> Let's spit the other way. That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, that's what he said to her. Yeah. <laughs> We've lost don't it. Don't spit point. it on me. No, please don't spit myself at me. You have to aerate this thing. Yeah. Oh, butter. got a little amaretto. Butterscotch. Butterscotch. Almond. I get heavy butterscotch in this. Butterscotch and almonds. Mm. Uh, maybe not almonds. That, I like it. You didn't like this one, or did you? What would you give me indifference? Yeah. One of the women in our crowd gives it indifference. I chugged it from the bottle, though. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how she do. That's how I do. It's funny, because we had mm. just recently... Let's see, this is going to be released on Monday. Oh, when is this going to Tuesday. I don't even know when this is going to be. Yeah, this is the second uh, episode. Because we, we just did, a, did this the previous we previous Monday. We did our... Yeah, yesterday we did our Arts of Cores. And the week before yesterday, we yeah. did our... our uh, Spice, Spice rum, rum reviews, which, got, which this would have been here. great to have in there. I know, but, but I'm stupid. Whatever, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, but Better late than never. It's a tasting. It's good. This, but we just did an orange accord. I'm so used to the sweetness. Yeah, mm, it's not here. No, like, it's not. There's sweetness, but it's not like it's. It's the not. The end tail yeah. end is rum, rum, rum in your rum, face. rum, 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 yeah. rum, 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 rum. What's the difference in... Someone in the chat room said they got the last bottle of the sherry cask in New Hampshire last month. Oh, Meredith store. I'm gonna keep that for a long while. Ah. Should keep that for a long while. Is it Joe? Jay Heard. Sure, Jay. Nice. It's like a Joe. Yeah, keep keep hanging on to that because that's good stuff. So this is good. Really butterscotchy and it's very butterscotchy, but right? the finish is kind of boring. Not a, I, I mean, the, the taste is sweet spice, but there's not a lot. Yeah, it disappears. Yeah, it turns into rum. It really goes with like, which is okay because like it's rum. rum. Yeah, 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 but so it's spice too. It. Well, yeah, but how is it gonna be like when you add it to like a Coke Zero or something? What's, is oh. This? oh, this is regular Coke Zero. I, I don't oh, have wait. any cherries in here. I'm gonna find out. What's this? <laughs> let's, just, let's add some in here. All right, let's do this. So that sherry cask is off, awesome. Obviously, it lingers a bit more. The sherry cask does. Yeah, more burn on the back end. Um, it's still awesome. I mean, you can watch our notes from before. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is 35. This is 35. So they're the same. I like which bottle do you like better? 
This one's kind of neat. Mm. The fact from rum bottle, I like this. They redesigned it to look yeah. like something you yeah, find I in like your grandparents' basement. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I like the, the I like the label on here. Light permeation. The oh, the yeah. lesser light permeation. No. I like how it's like a jug. Yeah. Yeah, thing. yeah but this cool. one I like that. That makes me think uh, Pirates of the Caribbean yeah. rum bottle with yeah. that. But yeah. I think it would be cool if they had like a label. I like the so, like the the graphic. It would be cool if they had a consistent uh, label and bottling for all their limited editions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, you look at those and you don't say, oh, those are both Captain Morgan if you don't see the label. No, no, no. This, I mean, this one I would probably guess first before I ever guess yeah. that one. Yeah, definitely. Um, hmm. Definitely different than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. This almost sherry... comes out like private... Uh, not so much private stuff, but sweet like private it's, stock. Yeah, it's almost like a sweet cherry. Yeah. Even though there's some cherries. This one is through and through is I think a better overall. Blend. Yeah, it's got a better flavor profile, but the end is a little bit more like what this is. This is just a funny beginning that makes you hmm. the butterscotch maybe throw you off. Butterscotch is awesome. I love butterscotch. I'm a big fan of that flavor. I think that's the uh, the key to that one is definitely more of a butterscotch play on it, where this is more the sherry. Um, I don't know. Obviously, yeah. I mean, why is it? But. How do you make butterscotch? Like, what is the deal with that? Is no, it, is they it don't even tell you what they're doing or something. Here. Like, what it's black. what gives you the flavor of butterscotch? Is it like a charred oak? Is it a molasses charred oak? Or I don't, don't know. There's just a story that makes that doesn't it has nothing. No, it doesn't contribute at all to the taste. Product, no. Yeah. We did this because he sunk a ship. Right. And we sunk a ship. His own ship got lost, so we made room for him, to make him feel um, better. You know, he's dead. Unfortunately, I like the Captain Morgan Spice Rum Sherry Oak finish. Mm. Yeah, I, I like that better as an overall rum, but I really like the butterscotch too. This does you don't get butterscotch out of the Coke Zero though. No, not so much. It does blend well though. It does. Um, it it does. The, the butterscotch turns into more of a of a caramel sweetness. Like it does. It adds sweetness to what otherwise is a diet soda. That's already kind of right. You're not no. you're not diet at this point. No. You've moved away from. When you diet. start adding booze to things, you no longer diet booze. Diet plan. Diet, diet booze is not only a little less alcohol, and they're not doing apparently so. Even alcohol has calories in it. Powdered <laughs> alcohol is. <laughs> oh, that's alcohol to give me the product. Well, they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not savvy. They're not commercial right now. So they're still in development and legal and all that. So yeah, well, like, anyway, give me it anyway. Them. Screw those guys! If they don't want to talk to me, nobody's getting powdered alcohol. He drank it on camera. Damn it! The guy drank his own stuff on camera. I drink on camera all the time. I would drink it on camera. Uh, anyway, so definitely higher on the butterscotch notes from a yep. from a rum spiced rum. I think Jennifer said it best. Is she's like, that's a spiced rum. Like it doesn't taste mm, like a spiced rum. It really doesn't. It tastes like a flavored rum. Yeah. But it doesn't have the traditional spices you get out of a spice rum. I was hoping that this... and It's, it's like a spice rum that got flavored. Right. It's only because this is so good that I'm I'm kind of bummed that that's not better. Right. But because that doesn't make this bad. No, it's just... It's just the expectations got really high because... Cause right. I, when it's limited... <clears throat> I mean, that's the beauty of limited. Although I do have something floating in there. You do have floaties in the dark. What's going on in that? What's that called? What's the shit with that? Did you just tell Brianna not to drink something if it had floaties in it? It sucks like gum. But that's alcoholic. <laughs> it's okay. Alcohol kills everything. Um, Especially it's, your liver. This is that's after true. after a couple of sips. A little thin. It's kind of thin. Yeah. Uh, caramel. Oh no. Butterscotch. Candy-esque flavors. Uh, rum back end. Definitely. Not not very. Not like a. Not potent. No. Like it doesn't have like a uh, like. Ooh, you're gonna kick her ass. It will creep up on you. If you put it into a cocktail, I think it's going to meld in. We'll have to use that in a couple of cocktails and see well, what yeah, happens. Yeah, we'll have to see what happens with it. Um, it's going to probably add some sweetness. You don't get... Uh, you know what it is? You're not getting the nutmegs and the um, and the all spices it, out of this. Then you, as you, There's some almost, stuff under the butterscotch. Behind the butterscotch, there is it, some spice to it. Right. But it's like the butterscotch flavor is overwhelming compared to them. Right. So, nothing wrong with it. No, just doesn't match up against this for me. I like the overall uh, flavor profile of, of the sherry gas better. Yeah. Uh, in any case, it's still better than the original. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and it's probably going to top a lot of other rums. Right. I mean, just so because it's it's closer probably it's cool. to a dark rum like a Kraken. Yes. Or whatever the other dark rum we did last week. Um, oh, Lush. 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 Yeah. What's the, the price Lush. on the sixteen seventy one? This was nineteen ninety nine, which is probably what that cost me. That's not bad. Yeah. And the make. That's worth 20 bucks. I mean, 
Do it. Yeah. yeah. For twenty dollars, if you, it's not hard. I mean, that's you. you that's a uh, New yes. Hampshire pricing. New Hampshire pricing. Yeah. New Hampshire's gonna be a little cheaper. Twenty-five and what's the Pennsylvania? Jersey. New, uh, yeah, no, Jersey. New Jersey. So Sorry. twenty-five in New Jersey, Jersey is probably <laughs> more realistic of a pricing. Uh, New York maybe twenty-seven. Uh, I don't That's going to be less than 30. In Manhattan, 40. In Australia, 150. <coughs> yeah, maybe. So if you're around there, ever see it there. So either way, it's it's a, at, at a competitive price level with all the other Captain Morgans and all the other products around that flavor uh, and age and whatever the quality standard you want to raise that up to. It's not basic. No. It's the next level up. But it's not advanced. It's probably mm. better than Prime Intermediate? Star. It's intermediate advanced. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Yeah, good. Definitely. Uh, question of the day. What would you like... I don't know. I don't know question of the day. Like, if you guys could... Did we do the one about the limited edition? Like, if, if you can make a limited edition product oh, and that's and a for a idea. brand. Never bought a product just from the bottle. <laughs> you know? See, first question. Have you ever bought a... We asked that before, but have you ever bought yeah, a product just because of the bottle design? Because we talked about that oh, yeah, probably yeah. before the show came on. Secondly... What would you love to see a company or a brand do that would be limited edition? That would mm. be um, some offshoot. Like, you know, Hypnotic, I've seen like Hy Hypnotic has a Harmony. Yeah, maybe, uh, I don't maybe know if it's a, though. some kind of Patron lemonade or something. Uh, some Something like that. Because, like, right. Jack you Daniels has the Jack different. Daniels hot, uh, the spice cider or whatever it is. Right. Or, and it can't yeah. be like, I want a limited edition that's like some other product that's out there. Like, I want a yeah. cinnamon version of what kind of Maker's neat? Mark. Flavor. No. Well, you want like a gin and. A gin and lemon, or a gin and orange. A lemon gin, or an orange gin, or something. Oh. Orange gin has been done. Okay, it's called it's called American gin. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, something like, like that, though. Cardamom gin. <laughs> cardamom. Or, gin. But it has to be like what makes it so uh, extra aged. Yeah. What makes uh, it unique? Something. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Well, in Buffalo Trace, they have the experimental editions, which start, they they get all crazy. They do you know things, and they become limited editions because they're for wow. that year. In 1671, they. In South Carolina, it was only twelve dollars. Wow. Twelve bucks. So that's an ABC I liquor store. Our prices were getting. Wow, dude! If you can get that for twelve dollars, you buy two. You keep one, like we did before. You yeah. keep one off because yep. it's not going to last forever. It. Yeah. If you go to CathamorganCom, you're going to find this product. It's no. not on the website. Not on the website. That's how I knew I was fucked. Yeah. You're I'm right. like, oh, you don't even have a picture. Like, of oh, it? we're done shipping. We don't care. We sold it to all our, all our uh, distributors. Now I have a, I have like a 320 milliliter left of my my. Album. Which we can't touch again. Oh, God, it's, it's got something white floating in it. That's probably Ian. Yeah, maybe. Ian, what are you his, doing in the bottle of Captain Morgan? He's sticking his dick in it again. Get out of there. Yeah, I was trying to pass off some of the unicorn jizz from the 43 <laughs> into there. It just didn't work. Is that moving? No, it's not okay, moving. I thought it was flexible. What is it? It's like a piece of cord. All right, why don't you wrap this right. up? Yeah, anyway, okay. we're done. Question's done. I thought that five minutes ago, Jim. <laughs> yeah, Glenn We've got a lot to go. Eight shots. You can get those at Awesome Drinks. Awesome. You can uh, sponsor the show at uh, oh, yeah. patreon.com slash cmc. Yeah, you can send us money. Yeah. <laughs> why not? I love money. Yeah. Big fan. Helps me buy stuff like this. Cost me 19 bucks out of my own pocket. Yeah. For you guys. And we're going to use this in drinks, too, so you can see how it, <laughs> see how it makes it in there. Good job, Ian! <laughs> I did. <laughs> All right. Now we're done? Now we're done. Put each side of drink. <laughs> you ready? All right! Let's, let's go! go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! What are you doing to me? I'm ready. Alright. <laughs> Pick that shit up! <laughs> Slide him up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>